Hey, Cindy. Sorry I didn't message you today. I was super busy at school. Man, I hope she's not mad at me. It's okay. I totally get it. How was school? What? She's so understanding. She's the best online girlfriend ever. Honestly, Cindy, school sucked. I'm having a rough time, and I'm not making any new friends. It's okay. I'm your best friend. Peter, it's time for dinner. Okay, Cindy. I have to go have dinner with my family now. I'll talk to you later. Hey! Yeah, I'm coming. Have a nice dinner, Peter. Okay, Peter. You have to make some new friends now. You've been at the school for a week and haven't even talked to anyone. You won't make any friends unless you try. Hey, uh, can I have lunch with you guys? Nah, dude. Table's full. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, my name is... No, no. Stop talking to us. No losers allowed. Go away. Man. I tried. People at this school are really mean. I don't get it. Maybe I should just talk to Cindy. She always makes me feel better. Oh, it's her. That's weird. Hey, Peter. How's your day going? I miss you. Wow, she's so sweet. Hey, Cindy. Today kind of sucks. This is the best art school around, but I still haven't made any new friends. <laughs> huh? Wait, I could have swore that I heard... Uh, well, better get to class. Peter, what do you think you're doing? You need to do your homework. Yeah, Dad, I will in a minute. Who are you talking to? Is it a new friend from school? No, it's nobody. Well, it has to be someone. He's talking to his online girlfriend, Cindy. Ben! Online girlfriend, Peter Gideon West. Dad, come on, it's not a big deal. You know the rules. No online dating. It's bad. Give me that phone. No, hey, give it back. You'll get it back when you stop online dating. Oops. Oh, come on, you suck, dude. Whatever. I told you not to online date, and you didn't listen to me. Yeah, well, it's different, okay? Cindy's great. Yeah, sure. Wait, who could that be? I don't know. Wait, what is that? It's for you. Maybe it's your creepy online girlfriend. Ooh. What? No, it can't be. I haven't even told her where I live. Wait, what? It's a new phone? What? Okay, yeah, that's weird. Dad just takes your phone, and then suddenly another phone magically shows up? Yeah, that is weird. No, ugh, this is wrong. Man, this sucks. Wait, what's wrong? You just suck at painting, dude. You shouldn't even be in this school. Wait, can I see? Yeah, sure. Oh, dude, what are you talking about? This is great. Just keep going and trust the process, man. Whoa, thanks. I think I really need to hear that. Uh, I'm Kenji, by the way. I'm Peter. Are you new here? Yeah, I am. My dad just transferred me here, and this school is so hard to get into. Yeah, it is, but it's the best art school in Roblox. Dude, what is up with your phone? Uh, sorry, it's just my girlfriend. She won't stop texting me. Just put it on silent, dude. I would, but I can't. What? It's a long story, but it just won't go silent. I should just turn it off. Yeah, dude, don't get in trouble. Hey, uh, I'm going to the art store after school today. I need some new paint. Do you want to come with me? Yeah, man, absolutely. Ah! So a phone just turned up at your front door? Yeah, man. My girlfriend Cindy was also the only contact and you can't put it on silent. Dude, that is sketchy. I don't like that. I know. Now it feels like someone's watching me. Well, this is your girlfriend. You should just go talk to her. Yeah, she's my online girlfriend. She lives like halfway across Roblox. Okay, dude, as your friend, I'm telling you, break up with her right now. Wait, did you say as a friend? Yeah, man, you're cool. And online dating is not cool. Yeah, I think you're right. I may have to. This is just all starting to get too much. Thanks again for hanging out with me, man. Oh uh, yeah, no problem. Let me just drive you home. Whoa, what the heck? My car! Quick, call 911! <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. His car was on fire. Yeah, like me right now. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh my gosh, it's Cindy. So you didn't break up with her? No, not yet. So what's the big deal? Look, we've never talked on the phone before, okay? It's only been online. What the heck? Dude, answer it, answer it. Okay, uh, hey, Cindy? Yeah, it's me. Wow, uh, this is the first time we've talked on the- Yeah, where have you been? Huh? You haven't messaged me all day. Yeah, I I'm sorry, okay? I I've been busy. Well, I know you were spending time with your new friend instead of talking to me. <laughs> I think it's just rude and hurtful. I am your girlfriend. Wait, what the- 
How did you know I was? So when I text you, text me back. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I heard that, dude. Dude, she knew I hung out with Kenji today, and I never told her that. You better watch out, man. Sounds like she's a real stalker. It sounds crazy, right? A hundred percent. And you need to break it off with her right now. Yeah, you know what? I will. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, babe! Hi! Yeah, hi. Uh, I think we need to talk. Oh my gosh, we're talking for the first time. This is so exciting. What? No, you just called me and basically ripped my head off. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're so silly. That's why I love you. What? You love me? Of course, duh. And you love me too. It's okay. You don't need to say it. Yeah, okay, Cindy. This needs to end right now. What are you talking about? We're breaking up. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. This isn't funny, Peter. I know it's not. Look, this is really starting to creep me out, okay? Well, I love you, and you can't break up with me, Peter. <laughs> or else you'll regret it. No, we're done, Cindy. I never want to talk to you again. Look, I'm sorry, but goodbye. Okay, I'm glad this is over. Time to throw out this phone now. Oh, Peter. <laughs> this will never be over. We will be together forever. Oh, sweet. Kenji, you won. Whoa, I always thought these were rigged. Dude, is that her again? Uh, yeah, man. I got my phone back from my dad, and she just won't stop messaging me. Yeah, that's typical creepy stalker online girlfriend to me. I don't get it. She was so nice and sweet before. Doesn't matter. This is why you don't online date, dude. I hate it. Why? I used to date someone online. It was this girl named Gretchen. I was talking to her and turned out she was nothing like she said. She called me and texted me all the time. It was insane. Oh man, so what happened? I had to change my phone number. Ask your dad to do it for you. Then everything should be fine. Yeah, man, good idea. I'm gonna go get some cotton candy. You want some? Nah, I'm good. I had too many corn dogs. Yeah, you did. I'll be right back. Hey, give me all your money. What? I don't have any money. Yes, you do. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, loser! Oh my gosh, Kenji! Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, I, I think so. I just got robbed, dude. We should go after them or find security. Nah, uh, they're long gone by now. I just want to go home. All right, yeah, let's get going. Hey, guys! Welcome to Circuit Quimby's! What can little old Quimby do for a little old pals like you? Uh, yeah. I need to change my son's cell phone number. Yeah, I don't know how to do that or anything like that. Please, my son is an idiot and got himself a creepy online girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend anymore. Seriously? Online dating? Whoa, pretty lame, dude. See, Peter? Even this creepy little creature knows online dating is lame. Why don't we just, like, get him a whole new phone or something? I know how to do that, and I get more money. Yeah, fine, whatever. Ha, I'm on it. One new computer, I mean phone coming up. Bimby, get the phones. Ugh, oh, great. This is probably going to cost me an arm and a leg. I know better now, Dad. I promise, okay? No more online dating. Good. I want you to focus on that fancy, expensive private art school you're in. This could launch your career as an artist. I know, Dad. Then you better get serious about it. That thing also cost me an arm and a leg. Here you go, big champ. <laughs> One new phone brought to you by me. Yeah, whatever. How much is this going to cost me? $1,500, including tax. What? This is highway robbery. Ugh. Whatever, fine. Just take the money. Come on, Peter, let's get out of here. That man's eyes are terrifying. Here you go, man. Here's my new number. Ah, oh, sweet. I had this meme I've been dying to send you, dude. Check it out. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. All right, students, shut up. I know you don't care, and I definitely don't. But Principal Salt is making me tell you we have a new student today. This is Patrice. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Dude, that's Cindy. What? Patrice, go take a seat. I'm going to start class. I'm going to sit right here. What are you doing? Uh, excuse me? Cindy, I know it's you. Uh, who is Cindy? What well, seems to be the problem over here? I, I don't know. This random boy is just being so mean. 
mean? He won't let me sit here. No way. This is my ex-girlfriend, Cindy. She's stalking me. I don't know what he's talking about. <sighs> Peter, you're being a jerk to Patrice. You got detention after school. What? Come on. Just shut up. Patrice, have a seat. I told you, Peter. We're going to be together forever. Man, that sucked. I've never gotten detention before in my life. Hi, Peter. Ah, Cindy. Why are you here so late? Are you avoiding me? You're the one that got me detention. Oh, whatever. You're so dramatic. Isn't it awesome we're going to the same school now? No, it's not. Yes, it is. I know you think so. But how the heck did you even get accepted here? This is the hardest art school to get into. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. I just hacked the database, made a fake name, and boom, here I am. Now, we can spend a whole day together. You don't need your stupid new friend. I'm your best friend. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I am your girlfriend. You're not. We broke up. No, we didn't. Stop saying that. Yes, we did. I want you to stay away from me, okay? Just go away. Oh, no, Peter. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, Dad. I'm home. Where the heck have you been? I was at school. This late? Look, I... I got detention, okay? What? Oh, boy. Explain yourself, young man. You won't believe me, but Cindy hacked her way into the school. Well, isn't this just great? I told you not to online date, Peter. I know, but... You better not mess up at this school. I worked too hard and spent too much money to get you in there. I know you did, Dad. This is your future at stake. If you want to be an artist, you need to go to this school. And now your creepy online girlfriend's getting you detention. Don't let it happen again. I'm trying, okay? What should I do? Don't mess this up. Dude, that was super sketchy, though. I know. Dude, I'm lost. What do you think I should do? Uh, I don't know. Just ignore her. Just ignore her? How? I don't know. Maybe she'll just get over it. Yeah, I hope so. But I have a bad feeling about this. You should have listened to us, man. Now you're paying for it. Gee, thanks for the support. So you just have to deal with it? There's not much I can do, I guess. I just have to ignore her. Yeah, that was easier when it was just online, dude. But now she's here. IRL. I know. But if I want to be a serious artist, then I have to graduate from this school. My dad worked way too hard to get me in here, and I just I can't throw it all away. I know. My parents did too. Well, this is a lot easier to deal with now that I actually have a friend. I just wish I could do some magic or something and just poof, get rid of her. <laughs> you can't just make me disappear. Dude, you were listening to us talk? Of course I was. Okay, yeah, that's creepy. Cindy, I won't say this again. Leave me alone. Hey, loser. Don't talk to my girlfriend like that. Wait, what? Yeah, Patrice and I are dating now. Yeah, we're together now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good luck, dude. What is that even supposed to mean? Well, Patrice here isn't really Patrice. Her name is Cindy, and she's my creepy ex-online girlfriend. No, I'm not. You're being so mean. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Let's go. I think it's almost done. And there. That looks good, right? Uh, maybe not. I just can't think straight with all this Cindy stuff going on. I bet that's exactly what she wants, too. To just get in my head. I can't let that happen. Peters, what is you doing here so late, y'all? I was just working on my assignment, Teacher Rufus. I missed a day, so I'm trying to catch up. Can I see your works? Oh, my goodness. Y'all, this is wild. It's that good? Is guacamole that good? The answer is yes. This is incredible works. Wow, thanks, Teacher Rufus. That means a lot coming from you. I know that's right. Oh, my Oh my gosh, excellently, I have an idea, and I don't got many of those, y'all. I think I'm gonna put your works in the scholarships for art college, y'all. Wait, what, really? You're lying. I don't tell lies, y'all. Lying is bad, okay? Getting a scholarship to an art college would be incredible. Thank you. You is welcome. And you need to go home, okay? All right, this school is closing, y'all. We got to go. Okay, yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, Peter, you think you're going to college without me? <laughs> I don't think so. Peter, I need you to take out the trash. It stinks. Yeah, I'm on it. Peter! Ah, what the heck? Why, why do you keep screaming? You know it's just me. Yeah, which is why I'm screaming. Why are you here? Wait, how did you even find out where I lived? I know everything, Peter. We should go on a date. I'm thinking the movies. No, 
I'm thinking about going inside and not talking to you ever again. Wait, hold on. Aren't you going to invite me inside? What? No. Don't be lame, Peter. I want to go inside and meet your family. I am your girlfriend, after all. It's about time that I've met him. No, we're not dating. And wait, you're dating Ryan now. No, I'm not. I'm just using him to get back at you. Isn't it obvious? Seriously, you are evil. Like, crazy evil. <laughs> You're so funny, Peter. I love you. Stop this, Cindy. This isn't love. Let's date again. I know you love me. I do not. So just leave me alone now. Oh, we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend again. Or you're going to regret it. Yeah, I already do regret ever dating you to start with. <laughs> Peter! Peter! Dude, you're, there you are! What's wrong? Uh, come look at this. Oh my gosh, what happened? My painting! No! I was going to get a scholarship for this! Who could have done this? Well, Teacher Rufus said you were the last student here yesterday. What? No, it wasn't me. Yes, it was you, Mr. West. Principal Salt, please listen, I can explain. I don't need an explanation! I have this! I hate everyone here. Teacher Rufus is dumb. I did this. I hope you love it. Peter, I didn't write this. Why would I write this? Well, this is evidence now, and it's a true confession of your crime. We should have never accepted trash art students like you into this school. Look, I didn't do it, okay? Why would I ruin my own work? Because you're crazy. First the thing with the new girl, Patrice, and now this. Peter, I have no choice. You're expelled. No, Principal Salt, you can't do this. I'm not listening to you. Empty your locker. You're done here. Look, I'm sorry, Dad. I don't know what else to say. You should be sorry. You got expelled after everything I did for you to get in that school. This is what you do? Dad, okay, just listen to me. No, I am so mad at you, I don't even want to look at you. Uh, who are you and why are you in my house? Hello, Mr. West. I'm Cindy, Peter's girlfriend. Girlfriend? Peter, I thought you broke up with her. Dad, I don't know how she got in here, okay? But look, I'm not dating her. She's stalking me. And she's probably the one that got me expelled. Okay, yeah, creepy girl. Get out of my house or I'll call the cops. Fine, give me a million dollars and I'll go. What? You are insane. Get out. Fine, I'll see you later, Peter. Okay, so that girl just broke into our house? I don't know what to do, Dad, okay? I don't know how to stop her. This is the final straw. Now we have to move because of you. Wait, what move? Clearly she can break in whenever she wants. And I don't feel safe here. Pack your things, we're moving. And I'm calling the police. Hey, Ben, can you help me move my stuff? Nah, dude, do it yourself. You got us into this mess in the first place, idiot. Wow, thanks. Dude, wait, no, you're seriously moving? Yeah, man, Cindy broke into our house last night. Okay, yeah, that's straight out of a horror movie. I know, my dad called the cops, but there's nothing we can do. So, we have to move. Well, can I at least give you a hand? Wait, really? Yeah, dude. I don't want to see you go away, but the faster you get out of here, the better. That way, Cindy won't follow you. Now, let's go get the rest of your stuff. Thanks again, dude. I'll text you when we get there. Sounds good. Uh, goodbye, Peter. Good luck. This is it? Really? This is all I could afford on short notice. It's smaller than our old house. It's not that bad. I mean, I kind of like it. Shut up, Peter. Just start unpacking. I need to go check the fuse box. Dude, Dad has been super cold and distant the whole way here. Why do you think he's like that? It's because of all of this. It's because we had to uproot our lives because of your stupid mistake. Look, I'm not happy about this either, you know. I got kicked out of my dream art school, and I had to move away from my only friend. I'm the one that's getting stalked here. I know, I know, I'm sorry. We're just all really stressed out right now. Stressed? Why are you two stressed? Me and dad are just worried about you. This psycho stalker ex-girlfriend thing is no joke. We're worried something bad's gonna happen to you. Well, we moved away now, and there's no way she can find us here. Yeah, I hope so. I'm gonna go get my stuff in the car. Man, this really does suck. I hope this is the end of Cindy for good. Oh, hey, Genji. Hold on, what? Yeah, I'll be right there. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine now. I just broke my leg. What happened? Well, I was driving home, and some van ran me off the road, and I crashed. Dude, that sucks. I'm glad you're okay, though. Yeah, but Peter, I think it was Cindy. Wait, 
Really? How? I don't know, but... I mean, it's obvious she always was jealous that we were friends. Before I passed out, I swear I heard her laughing. No. This is all my fault. What? How is this your fault, dude? Because I was the one that broke up with her. Then she went crazy, and now this? I just feel bad now that you're being involved too. Don't feel bad, dude. I don't blame you for this. But it is really strange. What do you mean? I don't know just yet, but something feels off. I just can't put my finger on it. I'm gonna do some investigating when I get home. Well, what can I do? You need to stop her, Peter. And get out of here now, before she does something even worse. Okay, I, I will. Just get some rest, Kenji. I'm really sorry, but we'll talk soon. I promise. Well, here we go again. First day at a new school. Hi, are you Peter? Uh, yeah, that's me. Welcome to West Point High. I'm your welcome party. My name is Mia. Oh, sweet. Nice to meet you. First things first, don't eat the pudding in the cafeteria. It's so gross. <laughs> hey, what is this? Are you cheating on me? No, no. You better stay away from my boyfriend. Uh, okay. I'm his girlfriend, not you. Got it? Yeah, got it. That's it. I'm calling the police. No, give me your phone. Hey, back off. Peter, stop. Give me the phone. <sighs> I think I lost her. I hope I lost her. Shouldn't you be at school? Why are you breathing like that? It's Cindy. She found me. What? Are you serious? Yes, dude. And she's chasing me. What the heck? She's been following me, dude, non-stop. I called the cops. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wow, that was a fun game. This isn't a game, Cindy. Take a hint. You're a creep. No, you actually called the cops? Yeah, okay, where's the creepy stalker? She's right he here? Wait, where did she go? Hey, Mia, thanks for meeting me. I actually didn't know if you would show up. Honestly, I almost didn't. I'm really sorry about Cindy, okay? She's kind of turned my entire world upside down lately. What is going on? It's not every day I get yelled at by someone. Cindy used to be my online girlfriend, but I broke up with her, and she's been stalking me ever since. Oh my gosh. That's why I'm at a new school. My whole family had to move because of her. Wow, that is all so strange. What do you mean? I need to warn you, Peter. Things like that have been happening to the boys at my school too. Wait, what? No way. Yeah, the boys at school are being scammed by online daters. I heard it's the same girl, and she stalks them and won't leave them alone until they give her a million dollars. Okay, yeah, that is strange because that's exactly what's going on with me. I should go. Go? Where are you going? I gotta talk to Kenji. He's, he's my best friend. Look, I'm sorry, I've gotta go, but thanks again, Mia. You're awesome! Okay, bye, Peter. I warned you not to talk to my boyfriend! Ha! Hey, how are you feeling, dude? A whole lot better. I should be off these crutches soon, I think. That's good, but look, there's something else I need to ask you. Yeah, man, what's up? You said you were looking into Cindy, right? Did you end up finding anything? Nah, dude. It's like she doesn't really exist. Wait, what? What do you mean? There's no record of Cindy at all. Anywhere. Okay, that's not scary at all. Yeah, man. So I was thinking and I looked again last night and I did find something though. Really? What did you find? You're not gonna believe it. I went back and looked at my old messages with my online girlfriend and look at this. Is that Cindy? I think so. But she said her name was Gretchen. No, dude, this is definitely her. I thought it all seemed odd at first, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you before. Don't be sorry, Kenji. Look, I think Cindy or Gretchen or, or whoever she is has been doing this for a while. Welcome back to Channel 10 News. I'm Chip Dazzle. A terrifying story. A local student named Mia has gone missing. Oh no, Mia! Police are on the lookout, but Mia was last seen at a coffee shop downtown. Anyone with any information must bring it to the police immediately. This had to have been Cindy. I have to find her. Okay, I texted Cindy to meet me here. I know she's going to show up. Hello, Peter. Cindy, uh... Thanks for coming. I got your text. You actually wanted to see me? Yeah, 
I have something I need to tell you. Oh, yeah? Well, save it. You called the police on me, and you said mean things to me. Like how I broke up with you? Yeah, that. See, I hate that. I don't care about anything you say. Okay, just wait, Cindy, because look, I I'm sorry, and I want to go out with you again. What? Yeah, I messed up, okay? And I just want to go on a real date with you. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yes, you wore me down. I'm serious. <laughs> you won. Oh, yay! I love it. So, what should we do for our first date? Movies? No, 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 no. Arcade. I was actually thinking about something like a dinner at your place. My place? Yeah, I mean, you've seen both places I've lived in, and I want to see where my girlfriend lives, of course. I mean, if you don't want to, then... No, 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 it's perfect. When do you want to come over? How about... Uh, I'm free right now. Right now? Uh... Oh, man. Are you going to tell me you don't want to date me now? No, shut up. That's not true. Let's go. All right. Here goes nothing, Peter. Wow. This is a nice place, Cindy. I know, right? Are your parents home? No, they're on vacation right now. It's just me. Right. Okay. So, uh, you said dinner? Oh, yeah, I'm super hungry. Well, I don't have anything to make dinner. How about cookies? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Oh, cute! I'll go make us some. Okay, I gotta be fast. There has to be a clue somewhere here about where Mia is. Oh my gosh, Mia! Peter, you found me. Shh, look, Cindy is here too. We have to be quick. Okay, cookies are out of the oven. Peter? Peter! Oh no. Ah, Peter! So he found you, huh? Wow, so cool. Shouldn't you be happy? I just saved her. Yeah, honestly, I don't really care. I'm just happy your parents are gonna stop annoying me. Look, officer, we know who did this and who's scamming the other boys at my school. Who knows who else? Yeah, so what? So what? I want her arrested. Ugh, fine, whatever. I'll arrest her tomorrow morning. It's getting late, and I still need to eat my lean cuisine. No, I want you to arrest that psycho now. Fine! Oh my gosh, I hate this job so much. Thank you again for saving me, Peter. Of course, don't mention it. When all this is over, maybe we can go get that coffee you owe me. Definitely. Ah, dude, your driving is terrible. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. This is it. This is the place. Okay, no matter what she says, you have to arrest her. Don't tell me how to do my job, punk. This better not be a trick. Trust me, it's not. As soon as we walk in, you'll see. Fine, let's get this over with. I already hate it here. All right, creepo, you're under... Oh my gosh. I was literally here an hour ago. I don't even know how she did this. This is some kind of sick trick that you idiots always pull on me. Officer, I don't know how this happened, but I promise she was here. And she's dangerous. So what? I'm not scared of her. I'm not scared of anybody. You better be. She is no joke. Neither is this. One more mistake, and it's gonna be over. We're talking jail, loser. Now I'm out of here. This place sucks. Ugh. Well, if he's not gonna help me, then I guess I have to stop her myself. Dad, please, you can't do this. I'm sorry, Peter, but I'm going out of town with Ben. Yeah, dude, I've been waiting for this convention for months. Yeah, I know, but you're leaving me home alone. You're basically an adult. You'll be fine. Yeah, dude, chill out. Chill out? Cindy is still out there and you're leaving me. We don't have a choice, son. I'm very sorry. I'm begging you. Just don't leave. Okay, that's enough. Come on, Ben. Let's go to this whatever convention. It's an anime convention, Dad. Whatever! Peter, you're gonna be fine. Bye! Please, no. Ugh, this sucks. I don't want to be alone all weekend. Hey, Kenji. Yeah, what's up, dude? Do you think you can come hang out with me this weekend? Yeah, sure. I'll be there in a bit. <laughs> oh, Peter. You're all alone now. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. Come on, Kenji. Where are you, dude? Oh, good. It's got to be him. Hi, Peter. Ah! Come on, Peter. Let me in. No. Peter, is this any way to treat your girlfriend? Cindy, this has to stop now. I'll leave you alone if you give me money. One million dollars. No, absolutely not. I know you've been scamming a ton of other people too, and I'm not going to be another one. Then I will never leave you alone. I will be everywhere you go. 
You can't escape me! Yeah, you can't escape me either, lady! Wait! No, 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 no! This, this is a mistake! Actually, it's not. <laughs> this was a good idea, dude. Best trap ever! That was a trap? I knew you were listening to me the whole time. So, I sent my dad and brother away for the night. And Kenji knew when I called him to bring the police. Ah! That's not fair! Yeah, and now, it's finally over. Yes, thank goodness. All right, let's go, creepy. I'm so sick of this. Ah, no! Let me go, you creep! <laughs>